uh, we also have Camille Thurman with us, whose new album is called Origins. And yeah. I've been listening to this recording, by the way, and sometimes what happens to me is I focus on one track and uh, and I just can't take it off. And for some reason, Jitterbug Waltz, I know it's mostly originals on here, Camille, but your interpretation of that just jumps out at me. Why did you choose why did you choose Jitterbug Waltz for the recording? Well, I chose Jitterbug Waltz because um I wanted to pay homage to the great late Fats Waller. He actually lived not too far from my childhood home in St. Albans, Queens. And since the whole theme of the album is about origins and beginnings, he's a part of my beginning, my history, my lineage of being born and raised in Queens and also the music that came out of Queens and also Manhattan and just this area that was, you know, once a melting pot for so many people like, you know, Count Basie and Milt Hinton and Charles Mingus and so many other people. So that's my tribute to him. <laughs> yeah. Now, what some people don't know is that uh, Camille is also a vocalist. In fact, you've participated in some vocal competitions, haven't you? I have. <laughs> yeah. I uh, just recently did the International Saravon Vocal Competition and was a runner-up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, I, I must ask you about this geologist thing. Sure. Uh, when you were coming up or when you, when, and you were a young woman, did you see yourself uh, doing that professionally? Um, honestly, no. I just liked playing in dirt as a kid. After it <laughs> rained, I would love to go to the front yard and take my little shovel and my wheelbarrow. I wasn't the typical girly kid. I was playing with nails and hammers and wheelbarrows and dirt. So I would go outside, smell the rain and the dirt, and just get my hands dirty and just love touching and feeling the earth and collecting rocks. So somehow it reconnected later on once I went to high school and started studying earth science and I was like, mm, I think I want to give it a try. And I got something even bigger and better than I expected from it. And how do you think that might have affected your music, Camille? Well, it taught me the relationship between people and environment. Um, when we were studying a lot of the different processes that happens inside the earth and outside, it kind of reminded me of our connection with each other and people. So like seeing how rivers turn into streams which lead into oceans and seeing how, you know, trees grow and how, you know, rocks and earth go through a process of forma formation and then breaking down and then coming back together again in a different form. It kind of taught me that like life works the same way too in people. I mean, everything is constantly recycling and going through this continuous process of being molded and breaking down and coming yeah. together and that's part of our history. I mean if we look around everything that we see today has happened already and is still continuing to happen so yeah. that was just my take on well let me try to put this through music. <laughs> yeah. So that's interesting so it really gave you kind of a unique perspective on life by doing that kind of work. Yeah, because everybody has some kind of origin, whether it's, you know, being born and raised in New York City or being, you know, connected with the environment outside in the country or wh wherever. And there's, there's a relationship to that and telling your story. <laughs> 